Oh. How do you na- navigate through that? Because I, uh, the reason I've I've found myself in a lot of dark places in my life is because I overthink a lot of stuff. Mm. So, as an example, I was chatting to a mate the other day, similar conversation we were having earlier about content, and I was like, "Yeah, do you know what, man? Like, I want to start putting content out like this, and I want to start doing that, and I want to." this but then I was like oh but then I'm not sure like I don't know how to do it I don't know the best way to approach it and he was like man you're just overthinking it and I was like yeah but you need to know like what's the mm. and that, that's just a silly example but that's happened in a lot of areas in my life so how how have you navigated your way through the thinking to actually figuring out actually this is what it's needs to be done one. oh god <laughs> I am a massive all my friends are like you're so deep you're just thinking too much about it but I feel like once I thought through things, because I'm very um, introspective mm. and I like contemplating. It's because you're a Pisces. I'm a Pisces, <laughs> yeah, water sign. I'm very much an empath. And I love just going for a walk and just contemplating life. Like it's one of my favorite things to do. It's when it starts eating away at you uh, and that's when it becomes dangerous. Mm. And I literally then have to just... Like I sometimes will just put my phone in another yeah. room or I'll go and move my body and get all the brain stuff out, out of my head, literally, because my brain starts to hurt mm. when I'm overthinking. Like my brain switches on at 10 p.m. <laughs> and will not switch off till 3 a.m. in the morning sometimes yeah. when I'm in this creative zone My to a point where I get a headache, but my body feels restless because my body hasn't used the physical energy, but my brain has been constantly churning. Yeah. Um, so I, so I think I do a few things. One of them would be, I start writing a list. Yeah. I write a list with a game plan so that I can start getting the things out of my head into a journal or into like a structure. Yeah. Um, and then I can start looking at what is helpful. All of this isn't helpful. What's the pros and cons to whatever I want to do? It's really dependent upon what's in your mind, course, really. Yeah, yeah. If it's more business stuff, that's quite helpful. If it becomes relationships Mm. and friendships that often you can be like well that happened and this happened and that was a great thing that was a bad thing and all the nuances in between that can be completely confusing so i then will write what is the truth what is the actual things that are happening not my interpretation or the feeling i got from that conversation what is actually the truth and sometimes again it's like your brain playing tricks on you making up stories it's also on on that note so it's cut you off but on that note i think like the communication level in that situation with friends or a loved one or mm-hmm. is important because there's no reason why you can't work through that stuff 100%. with the person yeah. involved in that situation from a non-judgmental point of view yeah. it's different if you're going into it from a an angle of like pain or hurt or you, yeah. you, you want to start pointing fingers like you have to go into it from a very neutral point of view it's hard and to it is it's very hard to, to detach your feelings i always like and this is literally only what I've learned in the last couple of years is the older I've got is to I am quite like I grew up very big romantic very um, emotionally driven and passionate but I've been able to kind of through learning about boundaries kind of pull the emotions out of it and be like like you said I love that word it's a non-negotiable these are my standards and this is as much as I love you and as much as we're caught up or whatever it is or however invested I am, there's certain things that I now, I have to have my own back in these spaces. So I'm not going to let this slide. Yeah. And if you don't like it and we're not on the same page, then that's fine. 